not are you recording? Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> with Revel and Row here. She does have a YouTube channel. This is Michelle. Make sure to subscribe to her. I'll have her channel linked down below. This is a two-parter video. So we are doing a mukbang. Mukbang? 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 Someone tell us how to pronounce it down below. We're gonna eat. We're, we're gonna <laughs> eat a shit ton of food. We got so much food. Like, we've got Funyuns, we've got sandwiches, I got miso soup for some reason, you candy. Did, you did get soup. In and, <laughs> in and out, we have so much stuff. So it is a two-parter collab video on my channel. This video that you're watching right now, we're gonna be answering our top five things. So like our top five pet peeves, celebrity crushes, all of that stuff. And then over on Michelle's channel, we let people ask us whatever they want. So we're doing like a fully open Q&A over there. I'll have her video linked down below. It's probably also linked somewhere up here in a card. So, <laughs> So I never know which way we are know, once right? it's on camera. Same. I like there's so side. many times that I've been all like here and it's like over there. I'm like, oh, <laughs> well, fuck. Make sure to hop over to her channel afterwards once you're done watching this one. But we'll go ahead and get started eating because we, we started buying this earlier in the day. So. I'm so hungry. Yeah, we've been like buying this all day. So like we've just been staring at it and not eating it. So we're going to dig in. Yay. I'm going to start eating. Okay. Go for it. I got a, is this, is this mine? Yeah, that's yours. Oh you said animal style. I don't remember the box being that big. <laughs> <laughs> I just got regular fries. Oh my gosh, it's exploded. Well, like literally. Oh my God. <laughs> well, there's your challenge. Okay, so I'm like very specific with my, I get well done in and out fries. To me, that's the only way to eat it. I just got animal this style. Is too this much. literally looks disgusting, <laughs> but it does because it actually exploded. So I always take like this part out and I, that's why I put my ketchup in. From this part irritates the shit out of Trevor. I'm so excited. We tried to find a table. We could not. <laughs> Everybody's at the park on so, a Saturday apparently. Yep. <laughs> Rude. Didn't they know that we had this reserved? So we just made like a makeshift picnic. Unplanned. Okay. This is the part that fucking pisses Trevor off about when I eat in and out fries. <laughs> this video is gonna be an hour long because we're just gonna keep laughing. It's gonna, it's gonna be a long one guys. I gotta get my fresh set up before we can start. Sorry. Yep. Hold on. Two hours later. I usually use oh. the boat for the ketchup too. Okay. I'm but I, use, I usually leaves. get like a Thousand Island. Mm, I have none of them. I don't like Thousand Island. No. I also don't like mayo. Oh shit. I don't like avocado. <laughs> I don't like pickles. I don't, I don't fuck with pickles. Ew. Really and then I, I like do this because I know I'm not going to save any fries. Like, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh, you're committed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to Belize in two weeks. I'm going Stupid on vacation decisions. in two weeks, too. <laughs> like, bathing suit. I'm going to the lake. You shouldn't have done this after. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm going to Bass Lake oh. near Eric Yosemite. Oh, yeah. So, I posted on Instagram. And I asked you guys to send me your top five requests. Like, what? Are those extra toasted? Yeah, they're well done fries. You want to try them? I didn't even know that was They're so good. They make them taste so much better. Right? Whoa. Whoa. I don't like in and out fries until I have them all done. Game changer. You've taught me a lot of things today. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I taught her a lot of Instagram story tricks. I didn't even know. Mm -hmm. I'm drinking an Arnold Palmer from Chick-fil-A. How many drinks do you have? Tell them. Three. <laughs> I love drinks. <laughs> like... I, like when I go to restaurants and they know me, they'll bring me two Cokes instead of one because the guy doesn't want to keep coming back. So every time he serves me, he like serves me two drinks. People have to do that to Trevor all the time. Okay. I so. feel like I'm not mukbanging right. Like I got, I'm concentrating on just fries. I feel like that's not right. I accidentally got miso soup. I thought it was just going to be like a miso dressing. This is like straight soup. <laughs> like a straight soup. Yeah. Can I open it? Michelle had to like run back and get some extra stuff for us. And so I'm just sitting here with all this food and people are passing by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey. 
<laughs> You're like, oh, uh, just waiting for my friend. <laughs> I should, I should, not if alone. I, if I didn't, if I didn't want to seem super sad, I would have said friends for the amount of food that oh. we. <laughs> True. Mm. What is this? I haven't had a funyun in so long. Is that cheese? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm a little scared of that. There's like white stuff on this. I'm just gonna get down into the noodles. I mean, it smells good. Yeah. So that's what I got. Beautiful. On a whim. Digging into your guys' top fives. So the first one comes from my niece in law, Brie. Thanks, Brie, for submitting the top five things you can't live without. Okay, so. Whoa. I'm gonna assume that that's things and not people, because, like, that way, oh, I don't, yeah. uh, that way I don't have to answer, like, Trevor and waste a turn. Um, <laughs> that's so broad. I know. Okay. This sounds so shallow, but just like, like your daily, like I need these five yeah, things daily. Yeah. Concealer. I wear concealer all the time. Okay. Lavender lotion. I can't go to sleep without it. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Mm hmm Trader Joe's specifically. That one's the best. Yeah. What can't I live without? Damn, this question's hard. Yeah. I can't live without my peppermint oil. Okay. I like peppermint lotion and oil. I actually have to sleep without. It helps with my headaches. I get headaches a lot. Okay. So that's something I can't live without. Um, I don't wear makeup very often. I wear makeup only on the weekends if I'm doing something. Like I don't wear makeup Monday through Friday because my job <laughs> doesn't like no one sees me. So yeah. food is <laughs> maybe we should be more specific if we go food. Yeah. Okay. Ma okay. Maybe just things then. Like stuff. I feel like Swedish fish would be one of them for you. Coke. Coca Cola. <laughs> Coca Cola. That's hers. Yeah. Oh well, I've been better lately. <laughs> Okay, so wait. Maybe no. Like, Maybe we should do like top five things that like. This is really tough. I know that's such a tough one. It's I such know. a so broad. Like beauty, like. Okay, I can't live without a hair tie. Mm. I can't live without my peppermint oil. Okay. But they like broke the skewer in half. Like that's how it's leaning. That is interesting. <laughs> Didn't I have another one? No, just two. I just have two. I felt like you had another one. I can't remember what it was. Socks. Oh my god, socks! I love socks. Yeah. Oh. I love buying socks. We bought socks today. <laughs> Sarah was kind enough to bring me cat socks, but I was like, I should probably stop. I love wearing socks. No, no, the I like second to time cozy. in a row, we bought socks together. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. So hair tie, peppermint oil, mm -hmm. socks, mm -hmm. chapstick. I can't live without chapstick. Mm -hmm. I love chapstick. I know that I'm probably making things worse by myself, for okay. myself, but. I'm over this one. Uh huh. Eating chapstick all, or eating chapstick. Eating chapstick <laughs> by wearing chapstick. Well, you're not supposed to. I don't to do need. That. I don't need chapstick. How many was that? That was four. That was four. You have one more. I never even finished my list. I'm like, you have one more. <laughs> I was gonna say YouTube. Oh. I watched for the last ten years. I've watched YouTube probably every single day when I go on trips. Like, I love being able to watch. This is so good. <laughs> I'm cold! <laughs> the sweater, dude. <laughs> um, this is just random things that I know that I use daily. Mm -hmm. Not like five top clothing items or makeup items or. That's true. Just like stuff that I like consistently use every day. Mm -hmm. Remind, okay, so I said my lavender lotion, concealer. Mm -hmm. I have to say lip balm too. Yeah. As well. I need some type of TV. It doesn't matter if it's like Netflix, cable, whatever. Yeah. I just need something. Yeah. And my phone. Yeah, I do need my phone. I can't live with that. Yeah. You want to replace one of those? <laughs> no, I'm going to make a six one. It's just, I, I would have to give up socks, maybe. Uh, yeah. Which I really love. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> what? I can't wait to eat mine. Oh my god, I'm, I am I was sitting here and I was like, wait, why haven't I eaten this yet? Ooh, I'm this gonna, is like one of my favorite fish. sandwiches. This is the chicken and prosciutto sandwich from Mendocino Farms. I got Mom one too, so I'm excited. Yeah. Oh shit. She's going to try it for the first time. Swedish? <laughs> Every single time I text Michelle, she's like, I just ate some Swedish fish. And I'm like, I ate two two pound bags in two weeks. And then I stopped. I haven't had it in months. Oh my god. Does it feel good? Mm. So good. This is like the perfect texture. These aren't like super chewy. They're like mm. the good texture. Yeah. I've got a good bag. Mm. Not being because we were like, Half this footage is just gonna be us sitting here yeah. quietly <laughs> eating, just so happy. Why do I feel like there's 
be a lot of zoom ins. <laughs> <laughs> Top five celebrity crushes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I already know this one. Wow, okay. Michael Fosbender, Chris Evans, Zach Efron. Like I knew my top three like for sure, but I'm like, who are my other ones? But I've done this exercise before. I can never remember like like my bottom two always rotate because like I can never remember who it is. I don't but, even know that I'd have five. My top one is Tom Hardy. Mm, I love me some Tom Hardy. Oh, Henry Cavill. I was like, I know that there's another superhero. <laughs> Henry Cavill. There's someone on TV. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> okay. I'd hang out with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like he's really smart. Mm -hmm. oh, talented. Mm -hmm. yeah. Laid back. I like that. He is. Mm -hmm. like, and you're not going to feel like you need to be in crazy good shape with him because he's got dad bod. Yeah. My teenage celebrity crush was, you know that movie, is it What a Girl Wants? With Amanda Bynes? Mm -hmm. I know dad's European. The mm -hmm. British guy? Mm -hmm. The guy that she has a crush on in that Oliver movie. Oliver James? Is that his name? Mm -hmm. I don't know what he looks like now. But when I was like then. 16, 17, I was like, Oh my god. You know, it's funny. My boyfriend looks like him. Oh my god, he kind of does. <laughs> so that's... Uh, Look at her getting it done. Yeah. Trevor always tries to tell me that he looks like Bradley Cooper. And I'm like, uh, he's hot, but like you know that he's not in my top. And also, <laughs> you're very generous. <laughs> I feel like Trevor is more like sporty than Bradley Cooper. Like Bradley Cooper is like mm -hmm. man at a like coffee shop. And, yeah. And, and Trevor is more like, I can kick your ass. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. I don't know if I have it I anymore. have like a, a TV one and it's really pissed me off. Mm. Mm. Another one from when I was younger. Okay. I don't really have a lot of celebrity crushes now. Where are you at there? now? <laughs> I'm at, I had three. I loved Shane West. Oh! Like, like a walk to remember days. I was like, <gasps> did you ever watch, um, I don't know what he looks like now though. <laughs> did you ever watch Motocross? The Disney Channel movie? Yes. Riley Smith. Oh my gosh. Really? I have not seen that. He was so cute. It's so oh long. I had such a fat crush on him. Fat from the yard. Oh my gosh. My biggest celebrity crush when I was a teenager though was Orlando Bloom. Mm, I've never liked Orlando. Oh, I loved him. Also, I really don't like Orlando and Katy Perry together. Really? I don't know why. It just. I like it. Everybody says that. I don't know why. I mean, like, do you be together? That's fine. But you like, guys can't be together anymore. Michelle doesn't approve. But I just don't see it. Mm. But it's fine. I don't it, it is a random pairing. It's so random. But I like it. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that I have any like current. Mm. Just like Tom Hardy's my boy. Mm, we'll see. Mm. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with my runner-up, who is gonna be Matt Bomber. So minor Michael Fassbender. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Evans, Zach Efron, Henry Cavill, and Matt Bomber. I don't even remember mine. Tom Hardy, mm -hmm. Shane West, mm -hmm. that kid from that one kid. <laughs> He's way older than us now. I don't know what he looks like. Oliver James was the was one of them. Mm -hmm. Oliver James. Or you were just talking about him. I, don't I can't remember. remember. <laughs> oh, Orlando Bloom. No, no, no. <laughs> Orlando Bloom. <laughs> Orlando Bloom was yours. Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> you said that so confidently, too. You're like, early to boom! <laughs> You're just still there. <laughs> yeah. Was that it? <laughs> just the three? I feel like that was four. Honestly, like... Well, are you counting all of our games or no? No. Well, then three. Oh, God. Do you like any of the Avengers? Mm. I like very, like... Bad boy tattoo, kind of, oh, kind of oh. beefy or European artsy, and I feel like there isn't a lot of that in Hollywood. Yeah, but if you like beefy, there's a lot of beefy in Hollywood. I don't like blonde hair for men. <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not attracted to Brad Pitt. Okay, be basic. Yeah, but like Brad Pitt, like 1994. <laughs> She so, only likes guys in certain time frames. Like yeah, that. I only like them in certain times of their life. Who else? I like don't even know. That's it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I could do like top five like. Could you? Could like, you get top, I was like, no, I was going to say top five like um, actresses that I think are beautiful. Like, I could do top five. <laughs> uh, can't even 
think of a topic for a top five. Yeah, I don't really have celebrity crushes. Okay. I don't know. Michelle Fail. failed that one so Apologize. Bad. Clothing brands. Ooh. I know. That one was tough like when high I saw end, it. Any end? I think just in general. Okay, so. This is tough. I'm gonna say in no particular order, because oh, I, I need to. I'm cold! <laughs> I'm gonna say in no particular order because at any time this can shift, but like my top like five, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my go-tos. Okay. And a lot of this is because some of them have afterpay. But <laughs> that's true. Afterpay. <laughs> That'll bump you up. Brands that are watching. I will shop with you if you have afterpay <laughs> above someone who doesn't have afterpay. Exactly. And sometimes like when I need something, I only shop afterpay. Yeah, my like, stores. Yeah. I can't do four installments, no thanks. <laughs> Rude. These are all my drinks. <laughs> Boohoo, because also they have petite, which I appreciate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Forever 21, just because I can't stop. Even though I want to. I genuinely want to stop shopping at Forever 21. I cannot. Miss Lola, because their shoes are killer. Mm. That's been like my new obsession. Why don't I just look at my fucking order right now? <laughs> I bought so much stuff this morning for Belize. You should honestly add like a makeup store that you like. Did, or did it say clothing? Clothing, makeup store. Got it. When I text you and say I'm shopping, where am I? Yeah. Where am I at? Boohoo, Forever 21. No. Nasty Gal, ASOS. <laughs> trying to think if there's like any other like top one. So I had Boohoo, Forever 21, Miss Lola, Princess Polly. Because besides them having afterpay, they have vanity sizing, so I can always order a size down and feel really good. I appreciate that. I also like H&M, but I hate shopping online at H&M because mm -hmm. they take forever to yeah. deliver. Like forever, yeah. and then the product never looks the same. I don't know what it is, but I love shopping in store because they have the best sale, like good quality denim. Um, like I have found good denim. Like denim is where it's at for me. But H and I'm not like the five dollar ones. The ones that are like thirty four to like sixty bucks. Like those ones like fit nicely. So not the ten dollar girl I bought you that one. <laughs> Actually those fit surprisingly really well. Really? Yeah. I was really surprised. I was like, <gasps> I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean like the regular like blue denim. Yeah. Like they have good, like nicer quality looking. I've never denim. bought that denim. I, I only buy like the $10 pair. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, like, I have like most of my denim except for this pair mm -hmm. are each and I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna lose it. Don't lose it. Commitment. <laughs> I need one more, but I can only think of a store, and that's Nordstrom. For Nordstrom, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I picked H&M, because so I was like, no, they're a brand. Mm. That's what we're saying. Nordstrom is. I like for me specifically, BP slash Topshop slash Savvy, oh, even I though- I love Topshop. I love the Topshops. I know. All of those departments have been condensed in Nordstrom, but yeah. If Topshop was cheaper, I would spend my money there. Mm. And I'm gonna hit you guys with another category really quick. Top five sunglass brands. Rayman, Ops. What is it? Diff Eyewear. Fantastic eyewear and it's like under $100 and it's good quality. I own one pair of Gucci sunglasses, and the rest are like Target, Forever 21. Like, which ones are my favorite? The YSL even... sunglasses, bomb.com. Ooh. So good. Celine's, because th those things are like indestructible. Celine's, okay, Celine's look amazing on everyone, but <laughs> like, they do not suit me. My friend has Celine's, and I'm like, those look good on you. And then I try them on, I'm like, take those off. <laughs> mm. And then, um, I love Ray Man, so. There was another pair. Not cute. Okay, not to talk crap on Key. And I did just order a pair of Key sunglasses this morning, so it's not like I hate them. I feel like for the price you're paying, the construction's not there. Because Diff is like 10 to $20 more, and the construction feels like a designer sunglass. So mm. like dip, like Key could do more, or they can lower their price. But I only buy high keys from them, because you can't get that anywhere else. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Top five makeup brands. Okay. Do it. Oh, no, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Number one, Jouer. I love all of their products. They're fantastic. Number two is Too Faced. Again, another one. I have a ton of holy grails from them. Three is Jeffree Star because his products are so freaking consistent. It's like ridiculous. 
Four is Milani. They're my favorite drugstore brand. Everything that they do, killer. Love it. And then five is ColourPop. Even though I don't like show it on my channel a lot, I really, really love ColourPop. It's another one. They're super consistent and they're so affordable. So, And they're always coming out with like really cool collections. So They do have a yeah. lot of collaborations. Yeah, it's really nice. I don't wear and buy a lot of makeup. Like, well, if, if my makeup is like spits in a small bag. Um, but which ones do you like go to? I would say that I like It Cosmetics. Mm -hmm. I'm obsessed with their foundation. It's just. Mm -hmm. Can we get a hold on the wind? Can you go around the pole? We already had an earthquake. I don't need to re simulate an earthquake in this. Thank you. So. <laughs> Carry on. So, It Cosmetics. I'm trying to think about what I wear. It Cosmetics. It Cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> I really like. No. I really like. <laughs> I wear a lot of drugstore makeup. Well, what drugstore brands do you like? I wear... I actually like a lot of the products from Wet n Wild. Okay. We'll talk about the products in the next okay. question. Okay. But there are a lot of products mm. that I do like Wet n Wild, which is surprising. Mm -hmm. I like... Um, I used to love Sonia Kashuk's lipsticks. I never tried her lipsticks. And I don't think they have them anymore. Mm. I also... What else? I really like Maybelline. I like all their Fit Me products <laughs> i'm laughing because the you know how i told you i filmed a video and like i ended up scratching it because uh -huh. there was a, there was a fucking stain on my shirt the whole time i didn't know <laughs> it was my um, makeup fails video and the maybelline bit me is in it oh <laughs> it was, just didn't work for me it worked for me yeah. i feel like i've tried a lot of like higher end cosmetics mm -hmm. and i always break out really yeah i like um what's that cc cream and everybody it's, gets the same uh, face powder that goes with it and it's got a brown cap I'm like I can't remember I the name no of it idea. it's a setting powder that everybody uses oh Laura Mercier Laura Mercier I like their CC cream okay so that's a brand so I like their I like NARS okay I think that's fine is that fine yeah we got okay. cosmetics Maybelline yeah went wild yeah Mars. Honestly, and Laura Mercier. I just buy whatever I see Sarah buying. Because <laughs> I really Which don't. Which is hilarious because you like named up like two things and I'm like, I don't mind that. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like I see her get something and then I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, like I'll try that. Alright, well. Like well, the concealer. Yeah. The, the shape tape. So the next one was going to be products. So okay, that's easier. For me, number one, obviously, chart shape tape. Um, number two, and for me, I'm doing this desert island style. Like if I had, if I was, like straight on a desert mm. island, what? Mm. Five products, whatever. Okay. So Tarte Shape Tape, the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. That's my favorite foundation of life. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Nude. Mm. Steel Waterproof Smudge Stick, the eyeliner. Favorite one. That's four, right? Mm. And five would be the Smashbox um, Always On Liquid Lipstick and Stepping Out. Wow. Yeah. I knew that one right off the bat. Yeah. No. What about you? What product? Mine would be the It Cosmetics Foundation. Mm. Oh, the CC cream though, right? I like the actual foundation. Oh, okay. That one's really good. I like the Marc Jacobs Noir Mascara. Mm. It does wonders for my eyelashes. I don't know what it is. I love it. I highly suggest using it. I also oh, have that. a lipstick. I don't even know who it's by. Oh. And then this one random list, lipstick from her first. It is... Oh, that's a fancy too. too. It's a, the L'Oreal Color Rich Shine in mm. Glossy Fawn 900. It is like the most beautiful color. It's like my perfect nude. Obsessed. Back when I used to wear bullet lipsticks, L'Oreal, their formula was one of my favorites. Yeah. It's Them just, I love it. Milani and Maybelline. Yeah. I also really like, one of my favorite um, bronzers is actually from wet and wild it's like they have a two palette they have a more warm tone and they have a cool tone and since I'm pretty fair and I have like more I feel like the cooler undertones mm -hmm. is better for me than the orange I've been using that one I bought it like just because I needed something like on a trip and then I've been using it consistently for Which like it's wet and wild oh yeah and I've been using it consistently for the last like four or five years like I really oh shit it. yeah years years so like I really love that one and then how many was that four I wasn't counting. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm eating my fries. <laughs> and then I also love Wet n Wild's um, highlighter. Oh, the loose powder? Yeah, the loose one I really, really like. I like the pressed one too. Uh, the pressed one looks really nice when I like wet my brush and then put it into the. I use the pressed one dry. I like and it. And so, dry it doesn't. You can't see it on my face. I don't know why. 
like, or maybe it's just the one that I got, but I really love the loose powder one. Um, I've been using that like pretty much every time I put makeup on. Today is probably gone, but <laughs> yeah, that one I really like. I have on the Jeffree Star. I've never tried anything freeze. Jeffree Star. Oh my god. Yeah. Such a consistent brand. Mm. For as much That's problem nice. as it causes, his makeup though, mm -hmm. consistent. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying that with shade, I love Jeffree Star. I would watch, I, like, I've texted Michelle and I'm like, I've been watching Jeffree Star for seven fucking hours. What's wrong? It's true. Yep. Music. Ugh. Well, let's go genres. Cause, like, okay, I was like, that's really bad. I can't do songs. For me, pop, just because it's everywhere and, like, I'm, I'm always constantly listening to pop. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Country. I love country. Like, I freaking love country so much. R&B, but, like, old school R&B. I'm talking, love... like, 90s. Yeah, like, R&B. Mm -hmm. um, gangsta rap. Like early '90s gangster yep, rap. Yep. I don't like the rap of today. That's not rap. Do love some Cardi B though? I think we're different with music. Like I love Cardi B. B. And then I'll say like today's hip hop will be like the last one because it's almost pop. Yeah. So, yeah. Those are mine. I like old school R and B. Yeah. That's just like what we grew up on. So right. Just like, like boys to men. Oh, all for one. Oh, I love that so much. Good. That's good stuff. Mm -hmm. 90s were better than the 80s. Yes, they were. A thousand percent. Mm -hmm. So R&B, um, I actually like Spanish and Latino mm -hmm. music because I'm actually half Hispanic, so I grew up with it playing like suavemente in the house on the Saturday when my mom would clean. Um, Mark Anthony, my mom would always play him <laughs> like when she cleaned. So that's just like nostalgic. So I yeah. do like Spanish music. The memories. And then I like metal. <laughs> Which is probably the most <laughs> surprising, but I do. I did not. <laughs> That's three. I do like some pop. I feel like yeah. I do. I feel like it's hard not to because it's just everywhere. Yeah, it's just easy. Yeah. And then I do like, I would say that I do like rap. I'm just really particular. Like, I like anything that does have like an old school. Yeah. And I like anything that isn't anything like. Anything with a vibe. Anything with a vibe, yeah. Like, I really do like Cardi B. Like, I'd go to her concert for sure. Um, I. I'm down for that. I'm down but for Ariana. I'm down for. I love Ariana. I'm down for um, Rihanna. I for I've sure. been listening to old school Rihanna, uh, like 2009 Rihanna, like all day yesterday by the pool. So like, yes. Good stuff. Yeah. So yeah. That, that's my top five. And the last one is top five pet peeves. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into this one. People who don't use their blinker, use oh. your fucking blinker. Like, let me know you're going. It takes the two next seconds. Time. I don't understand. Like, tell me you're going left. Uh, right? <laughs> Let me know you want to go in front. Right now, special guest, um, pet peeve, is this wind? <laughs> That's not really one of them, but like right now it's the wind. <laughs> People who are rude to servers, I think that that's so mean. Yeah. Like, I mean, well, what if you were a server? Like, yeah. Would you be that much of a dick? Yeah. People who freaking like say they're ready to order or in a line and they get up to the counter and they haven't even freaking looked or thought about it. Or like the, like the lady in front of me at Chick Fil A today. Okay, I went to In and Out, which usually, if people knows like that drive through, that drive through takes forever. I was done way before her. I, I probably didn't even order, and you were probably Chick Fil A. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's right here. Okay. <laughs> Being ignored, I hate that. Mm. I hate it when people like fucking ignore me, piss me off. Yeah. Oh, and then people who call you, then you text them right away, or call them back right away, and then they like ghost it. Fucking go. <laughs> I thought we were. What happened? That we were having a conversation. <laughs> did you did you just like text me and drop your phone and run away? What happened? Yeah. Yeah. They were like, yeah, I'm not even near my phone. Yeah. Like what? So irritating. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Special, Special guest appearance too. People who make plans with you and then like don't follow through on that. That pisses me off. Ooh. That pisses me off so much. Good. If you're gonna say yes, like you you have to go. Like there's been so many times I like I say yes to so things. You don't like flaky like, people. No, I don't. No. Like. When people, like, and like, don't get me wrong, sometimes I'm like, oh, thank God they canceled because, like, I, I love just want to stand in. But, just, like, I, it's people who are constantly flaky yeah. and, like, always make plans, but then, like, they don't show up or, like, they stop answering their phone by the time you guys That's are, like, supposed stupid. to be together. Like, I'm like, no, no, no. no. Oh, my God, I should have only gotten six. I know. I don't this know. This is ten? That's twelve. Why? <laughs> I thought we were only doing ten. There's only eight or twelve. Oh, oh I should have gotten eight. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, my pet peeves are, I don't like people who chew with their mouth open. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like when people let their kids run around in 
restaurants. Oh my god. Like if you don't tell your kid to sit down, I will. That's a that's a promise. In general. Just like watch them. Yeah. Just please. Like people who let their kids scream in public. God. I know that like there are certain times when parents are trying. If I see you trying, I'm not judging you. But when you are like on your phone and looking at other things and you've ignored your child and your child's screaming and I'm irritated, Lord. like I get that your life, you know, is yeah. going through yeah. a hard time or whatever, but like I get now it that we're I'm, not parents and yes. like we don't necessarily know, but like like, if you're telling before. your kid, like, when I see parents, like, please be quiet, don't do that. Okay, I get it, you're trying to. But when you literally, like, I see, there was this one time this mom was going down the aisle at Target. Her daughter was screaming, mm -hmm. and the mom ran into my cart and didn't even realize that I was there because she, like, was in her own head, like, not even paying attention. I get that they're, like, everybody goes through something, but, like, if you have a child, yeah, like, parent. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. Like, make an effort. So when I see parents totally ignoring their kids in public places, that really bothers me. Um, I don't like when people leave their pets in their car. Oh my god, that that's just dangerous. That really irritates me. That's not even like a pet peeve, that's just dangerous. Yeah, it, it, like every time I see it, it makes me anxious. Also, my one of my biggest pet peeves is people who do the self-checkout and don't know how to use the self-checkout. Oh my god, just go through the damn line. When I just sit there. How do you not know? You scared, like. And they like are looking, or then they're like paying with quarters at the oh machine. God. I'm just like, I did self-checkout so I could get here like quickly. How do we and not know? Like we've literally been trained on self-checkout our whole lives, having <laughs> other people check out. It's like they've been showing us how to check yeah, out. Like, no, everybody should know how to do it. It's yeah. like the screen says touch here, scan here. Yeah. So those are my top five. Okay. That may have been more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe less. Oh, was that? Sorry. Oh, oh. I'm oh, sorry. Trevor's texting me too. I'm like, I'm not Wait. done with my video, dude. Oh, God. Where did that go? Okay, well, we are done with mine. But we're going to do Michelle's questions. People yeah. sent us questions. So we're going to answer them. So if you guys want to know, like, our history, how we met, things like that, head over to her channel. But thank you guys for watching my portion of our collab video. Make sure to subscribe to Michelle. She's Revel and Ro. She's linked down below. That a little poem for you that I wrote. <laughs> Rebel and Roll, link down below. <laughs> Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on social media, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Boop. Okay. okay. It's recording, right? Yeah. <laughs> I double check. Oh my god, stop shaking, wind. Hold for wind. Hi. It's not another earthquake, I promise. <laughs> okay, so. Excuse you, we are filming. Kids. Children. And kids, too. Not to be fair, we are fucking filming at heart. We are. <laughs> okay. Their domain. No, don't you dare. Why do I feel like we should put my sweater right there? I'm like... That <laughs> mm. oh I feel like I should have had the trash bag. Mm. That's, that's okay. So, I feel bad. Pressure.